It's Platt, and today we head to Serbia. That's next to Platt's Beer of the Week. So the uh, particular beer we have today is, and no, it doesn't look like it on the label, but apparently it's pronounced Nisko, and the brewery is Niska Pravara. Now, I'm going to warn you up front, I probably butchered those, and I'm going to butcher them again, so just, just be ready. Uh, the brewery is located in Nice, N-I-S, Serbia. That's in the southern part of Serbia. For those of you who may not know, Serbia was once part of Yugoslavia, which was once part of the Eastern Bloc. Uh, after the fall of communism and after, unfortunately, a brief civil war, Serbia regained its independence in 2006. The... Uh, the brewery's history dates all the way back, though, to 1884, before all that mess. Uh, thanks to a gentleman named Jovan Appel. He was the gentleman that opened the brewery. Also, 1884 was just a big year for Nice in general. It was the same year they got their first railroad station and newspaper. And apparently the brewery was the first major plant or production facility in the town. Uh, the original product, uh, brewery production was 20 hectoliters, which today is a smaller brewery, but back then it was a decent-sized brewery, so this wasn't a tiny operation. Now, looking back, there's not a lot of history on the brewery from 1884 up to modern times. Um, I'm going to say communism, a couple of world wars, probably did not help the brewing business. But in 2015, the old brewery was apparently in bankruptcy and was bought out of bankruptcy and reopened. Uh, it was part of the company called Nisko Pravara, D-O-O, -O, is the official company today. The next year, in 2016, they released this line of beer, the original version of Nisko. It's a pale lager and kind of fits in, in the traditional European pale lager scene. Uh, however, though, two years later, they decided to rebrand, relabel uh, the beer. One of the things, because a lot of these breweries in Eastern Europe had been shut down for a while, they weren't necessarily tied to their old story, so they had a little more flexibility. Move ahead to 2020, and they start a second line of beer. And I will apologize for, for butchering this. Sindelic, Sindelic uh, line of beers. It was their second line of beers. And, you know, they're number two as far as beer lines go. Uh... Lastly, in 2021, this is a fun little note that I just had to throw in. At the 88th International Agricultural Fair, they won championship beer. Now, we can't look at this through American eyes because here in the U.S., you know, in the craft beer world, oh, you got to go to the Great American Beer Fest, the World Beer Cup. Duh, duh. I'm sure in Serbia, though, this must have meant something because it's all, it's, it, they are prominently featuring this on their website. So, again, it must be a thing, and that's maybe how you do business over there, but I found that note interesting. Real quick, let's get into some of the other beers. Uh, they only have uh, what I've been able to find three other beers, so it's a very small line. Uh, just stick to lagers. They're not, you know, pushing boundaries here. First is that Sindelic uh, beer, 4.2% ABV. This is a Pilsner. Again, kind of goes with those classic uh, easy drinking line of beers. Next is Niski Kalfa, 6% ABV. This is a dark lager. Now, I did not find it on their website, but at some of the uh, beer review sites like Untapped and Rate Beer or whatever, there's still people putting up reviews as of just a couple of weeks ago, so it's still in rotation somewhere. So, somebody's still finding this beer, so it still may be on the marketplace. And lastly, this is how it's spelled, Hubert, H-U-B-E-R-T, 5.1% ABV. This is a Hellas Lager. Um, the reviews, I th again, this is another one that's not on the website, but the reviews I found stopped about May 2023, so it may be discontinued, maybe not, I'm not sure. One other thing the brewery does is a line of soft drinks. This is something you'll see a lot of European breweries do, beer and soft drinks. We don't do that much here in the States, but over there they do. Well, before we try this particular beer, though, let's check out the stats. So before we try this particular beer, time for questions for Platt. If you have a question you'd like me to answer in a video, please send it to platt'sboozeblog at gmail.com in the uh, subject line put questions for Platt. Today's question, I'm afraid I won't butcher this name too, comes to us from Alderhaman. Alderhaman? Oh, hopefully I got that right. He is from a non-English speaking country in the Middle East, so I, I apologize uh, for that. Uh, basically his question is, we'd had a longer conversation uh, 
through the email, but his the, the point, uh, the basic question for this purpose is yeast, you know, how much yeast in, in grams to teaspoons to tablespoons, whatever. So I thought I'd give a quick rule of thumb because I get these questions a lot. People are either on the ounces or grams or teaspoons, tablespoons. So I thought I would help this out. Uh, your average teaspoon is roughly five grams. In beer brewing, I generally suggest if you're using dry yeast, anywhere from two to three grams per gallon. So a teaspoon worth would make roughly two gallons of beer. If you're doing a five or six gallon batch, uh, some English brew books will do six gallons, most Americans five gallons, roughly a tablespoon, because it's three teaspoon to a tablespoon. Uh, this also applies for baking yeast. So if you use bread yeast or whatever to make whatever homebrew, that's the same. Wine yeast, so you cut it back a little bit, you don't need as much. Um, like I said, for beer, two to three grams per gallon. Uh, wine yeast one to two, one and a half, probably about right per gallon. So just uh, that, you know, give you a little uh, kind of base to work with in your head, you know, half a teaspoon uh, for most beers, maybe a quarter teaspoon for wines per gallon. You know, once you get to five or six gallons, a tablespoon will probably do. Well, all right, enough about that. Let's get to drinking uh, some Serbian beer. Nice golden beer, plenty of bubbles, about a finger width, a really nice white head. It's going for the nose. Um, a little Euro funk on there, but not much. As you see, this is a brown bottle, not a green bottle, so you're not going to get as much of the skunking. Um, but still has that kind of European note to it. All right, that's nice. Um, a little fuller body than our traditional pale lagers here in the States. Um, I'm not gonna say this is a full body beer, but definitely more body. A little more malt characteristic. That being said, does not finish as sweet. You know, generally when you pick up that malt, you're gonna get some sweetness. I don't necessarily get that, but I can, I, I could almost you know, mouth feel a certain viscosity from a certain amount of malt in there, but it's not a sweet uh, beer. Uh, the hops aren't really that noticeable. I'm not really picking up much on the nose. Um, this is a, you know, this is in that standard European lager fell, you know, area. Uh, just without the skunkiness, which I kind of like. Um, I could definitely drink this, you know, if I, you know, one of these days when I make it over to Europe, this is something I did, probably would grab over, you know, Heineken or, or the green beer, you know, the skunky green beer. This kind of works. Um, we're looking at 4.7% ABV. This is still very drinkable. Not a bad, not a bad little beer. Um... That being said, I don't think anything sticks out either. If it's one of those things that if the hotel you're staying at or wherever pub you're staying at has it, then go ahead and drink it up. If you know, But I wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily go on my way to look for it. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Also, please like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out good content. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or beers that you'd like me to try, please leave them in the comment section, or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Well, until next time, bombs up.